Hello and welcome back. Today we will be learning three more chords on top of the two we have learned previously. Let's recap on our previous lessons. Remember the six strings on the guitar? Let me give you a hint. Elephants and dogs got big ears. The six strings are E A D G B and lastly E again. Do you remember what we have learned earlier? We learned how to play the G chord and the C chord. Let's play the G chord together. And now the C chord. Now we will be learning the A major chord. The fingering is fairly simple. Place your first finger on the second fret of the B string, followed by your second finger on the second fret of the G string, and your third finger on the second fret of the D string. Play the chord from the A string. The chord should sound like this. Okay, now let's try playing it together. Three, two, one. Moving on, we have the D major chord. Place your first finger on the second fret of the G string, your second finger on the second fret of the high E string, and your third finger on the third fret of the B string. Play the chord from the D string. The chord should sound like this. Let's play it together. One, two, three. Lastly, we will learn the E chord. Put your first finger on the first fret of the G string, your second finger on the second fret of the A string, and your third finger on the second fret of the D string. Play all the strings, and the chord should sound like this. Let's try it together. One, two, three. Fun fact of the day! By removing just one finger from a chord, you can create a completely different sound. For example, an E minor chord is just an E chord without using your first finger. The most commonly played chords on the guitar are C, G, D, and E minor. One song with these four chords is Coldplay's Viva La Vida. Now, let us try and play the chords one last time. One, two, three. Today, we learn how to play the A, D and E major chords. In the next episode, we will learn how to play two more chords. See you next time!